Hello everybody, um, it's been a while since I posted a video, or my first video, so, um, I wanted to make another one. I might post it today, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, I'm gonna be making probably, like, one thing today, and that one thing is going to be, a uh, cooler. I'm gonna make a little cooler. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use this pretty, um, like, teal, and then some white. So, teal and white. So, the bottom part's going to be teal, and the top's, like, the lid is going to be white. And then I'm going to make, I'm going to make the handle. Okay, so, let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to take your clay and knead it a little bit to make it soft. Turn that on so you guys can see it better. Okay, so just knead it a little bit so then, yeah, it gets soft. Mine is shiny, which I don't necessarily love because it was a shiny cooler. It's like sparkly, but it's not going to be like a realistic one. I, I don't think because I'm not good at realistic things. Like... Does this snake look realistic? No, it doesn't. But I like making food, but I don't know what to make out of food. I made like a ton of different things. Like cakes and donuts and ice cream and pizza and spaghetti, strawberries, pineapples. And I don't know what else to make. So with this, I'm going to take a little bit, and I'm going to shape it into a rectangle. Let's get it spread in my legs, because I just made a beautiful one. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, my hair is so messy. Um, yeah, so I'm making it into a rectangle. And so now you're going to take uh, a popsicle stick and, like, flatten it out and make the edges pretty, like, sharp and like nice I guess okay there I have it it's like it's pretty round which is kind of annoying because I want it to be like nice sharp edges but left it all I've done so far which is not much okay so I'm just gonna grab some white clay not a lot just like for an, as thick as a lid you want it to be um I'm not gonna have my coat open because I just do a lot of work and I'm I don't want, like work but yeah so I'm gonna take like this much clay compared to your thing it not a lot, but yeah, okay, so I'm gonna get, shape that into a little, like a thin rectangle, the same size as the top of your um, teal, or whatever color you're using for your base, and then just try and make it as flat and like, as close as the same size as that um, your ruler that you have right now. Okay, and then you can make it as flat as you want, and you can cut the edges to make it, like, um, straight. But then, like, flat and rounded it, like mine, which I don't like, but if you like it, you can do that, I guess. I don't know. Okay. just gonna okay it's a little too big my foot's in the wrong position to get up okay so I'm going to just grab uh, an exacto knife it's not an exacto knife but it's kind of like one not like the real one it's just one that you get in a clay kit but okay so I'm going to shape it to the same size as the 
little cooler. <laughs> We're gonna put it on and then trace it. And then you cut on the lines that you traced. You guys probably can't see it, but I did trace it. I can't see it. Okay. Just so gonna cut it to make the lines to the perfect size and shape. Got one more end or one more side, sorry. I'm not in the right mindset right now, so it's not gonna be the coolest thing I've made. And if this video is quick, which it probably isn't going to be because it's already like seven minutes almost. Um I was gonna say I might make a cake, but I don't have a theme for it. In the next video, I'll make a cake. I, I don't want to give it away because you can watch that video. But it's not filmed yet. Okay, okay, so I'm just taking the exacto knife, kind of making the edges a little more flat, other than so rounded. I just can't help myself. Okay, and then the small side on it, you're gonna. It's still too big. And shape it on it. Okay, so you're gonna put it on, and then you're gonna take it and like squish it on and like shape it shape it to the same size if it's too like big or small which mine is a little too big you guys probably can't see here like exactly what i'm saying okay, i'm going to try and make it as flat and even as possible so I'm going to edit this art part out if I can figure out how, but I probably won't because I don't know how. Okay, and I'm just shaping it to the right size. This is still my second video, so I don't exactly know how to edit. And I'm too lazy to watch a tutorial on how. It's almost to the exact proportions as I want it to be, but it's a little lopsided. Okay, there's what it looks like so far. I'm sorry you can't see it as well as you should. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. Mm, okay, so I have like kind of a lot of extra clay left over. So I don't have the right proportions that I should have. And you think I'd be good at it. We're doing it for like a year and a half. I still need the white clay. So you're going to grab not a lot, but like enough to make like a handle, I guess. So I'm grabbing this much and I'm probably not going to use that as much as I grabbed. So then you roll it into a ball and then roll it into a snake. 
Okay, so I'll make it kind of a thin snake, depending on what how big your like box is that you have right now. Um, okay, and then you're gonna take your popsicle stick, make sure it's clean. Mine's not very clean. I don't want to hurt. And then you're gonna flat put it on there and push down. Not a lot, because you don't want it completely flat and push it down to the table, but enough to make it pretty flat. And gently pull it off so it's not like that crooked. Mine's super crooked, but I can save it, I think. I don't think I have to redo it, which is good. Okay, and then cut like this is probably half an inch, so I'm probably going to cut like an inch. Fourth of like a strip. So you're going to take your strip and then um, make a handle, I guess, out of it. Okay, mine is way too small. So I need to. Good thing I have like a lot extra. So I'm probably gonna use like all of that. That was just way too small. There's my little handle. Sorry, my hands are shaking because I don't want to break it. And then actually a little too long. I'm gonna cut like a little bit off of it because mine are a little too long. And if yours is a little too long, you can do the same. And then push it on to the white part of your little box you have right now. Oh my gosh, I just ruined it because I I didn't stretch it out. Okay, and then make it as like kind of square as possible. So it looks like that. Oh my gosh, why is my lighting so bad? Now it just looks scary. Okay, so you guys can just kind of see it from back here. It just looks bad if I bring it up. But yeah, that's your cooler. This video is kind of long. Sorry if you didn't want to stay for a whole 13 minutes. But yeah, okay, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So, peace.